Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and uh, I am a CG and VFX artist by profession. This is my first video tutorial made for atotsplus.com and uh, probably you have seen in the preview file that what I am going to tell you about today. So let's move and uh, import the necessary footage here. It is an image sequence. Let's change the frame rate to the original one which is uh, 25 frames per second and drag it to the comp. This is my poor guy Vikram and uh, he is uh, turning his face around. You may see these uh, three uh, black tracking points on his cheek uh, which I made deliberately uh, for the tracking purpose. And later you can make uh, something like a wound or um, a cut mark um, here on the cheek. So I will remove these tracking markers point first and uh, also I'll make some uh, tears, bloody tears actually uh, coming out uh, from his eyes. So let's move and uh, go to two seconds in the time band. It's very important to have a specific frame and uh, let's double click on the footage and pick the clone stamp tool and make sure to choose a single frame from the duration tab and just like Photoshop press alt and take the sample and uh, remove the black marker points. It's very simple. It's done and uh, if you try to move the CTI in the timeline you will find that on the specific frame the markers points have been removed from the cheek and that specific frame lies on two seconds. So now uh, render this frame go to composition save frame as file and choose TGA okay and give the name to this file as still face and save and press on a render. It renders the frame in no time. So now import that still face frame and drag it to the comp. Now go to main bloody tears footage effects paint. I don't need it anymore so delete it. Now this is the still face and if you uh, lower down the opacity you will find the face with black marker points. So down the opacity of this layer a bit, pick the paint tool and uh, draw a selection around these black points and uh, make the opacity 100% again. Give some feather, let's say uh, 25. Now if you move the CTI in the timeline, you will find this situation it is not following the motion. It means you need to track this footage now. So let's uh, move to Mocha. This is Mocha. Here let's import the footage, the bloody tears. Next. Next. And uh, see this is uh, showing only 10 FPS. But if you see the actual footage, it is having the frame rate of 25 so in mocha you have to choose the value of 25 from the drop down menu click on finish now pick the spline tool and uh, make a precise selection around the black marks you need to uh, add the marks also uh, make uh, sure to have more and more vertices in the spline it will give you a better track Click on perspective and uh, then drag forward. So after a couple of seconds you will find that the footage has been tracked very well. Now click on export tracking data and choose after effects corner pin data and click on copy to clipboard. Now jump to after effects once again. 
make a null object go to the first frame select the null and press control V to paste the tracking data on the null now you can see that uh, the null is uh, going with the footage variable so now go to the specific frame at two second make the null off put it beneath all the layers this is still face and uh, now you pick its whip to the null one and you uh, find oh great the clean cheek is following the null it is going with the null very well but you may see some uh, lighting problem here so now some color correction is needed here in this part so type uh, curves in the effects and presets box and apply it on the still face and now if you uh, make it down a bit it looks good but if it uh, but if it moves it is still dark so we need to animate the curve effect a little bit so make an initial keyframe here and go to this time frame and make it some uh, light so in this way you are animating the curves effect it's pretty good isn't it yes it is so now you learned how to remove tracking markers points actually this technique uh, could be quite useful uh, in several occasions now I'll uh, show some bloody tears here for this uh, I'll make a new solid layer and the color would be pure white double click on it pick the brush tool and mode should be right on in this duration tab since it is very important now make a thin line by the brush tool you may see that the line uh, is being animated itself you can rename it as tears make paint on transparent ok that's the way uh, you can see the thin uh, blood line here first of all make this uh, tears layer as the child of the null uh, you may see it is following the motion but uh, not at the right place so pick this uh, tears layer and place it at the right place so that it should look like coming out from the eyes make a little bit of uh, adjustment here it's good I think uh, now do one thing change the color of the tears to deep and uh, dark red and in the blending modes choose soft light it's looking good it's more believable color now uh, right click on this layer layer styles and bevel and emboss bevel and emboss will uh, give some finishing touch here you can play with the angle of the light and uh, you can play with the altitude also lower the highlight opacity a bit now see this it's looking good to make it more and more believable make a solid layer with dark red color okay lower the opacity a bit of this red solid pick the paint tool always come first on this uh, specific frame now make a small selection around the eye something like this yeah 
give some feather let's say uh, five five will do adjust it a bit increase the opacity now and uh, go to solid settings and uh, make the red color more dark and now pick whip to the null it's good but you may see some uh, problem here so uh, we need to adjust it uh, manually I am animating the mask you can uh, track the eye area separately uh, in mocha and then you can uh, and then you can uh, use the tracking data with this mask but it can be uh, done here manually in a couple of seconds give some uh, more mask feather adjust the mask points a bit more actually it depends upon you uh, which method you choose so it's a uh, so it's done and uh, it's looking good now to make it more and more believable uh, make an adjustment layer and uh, make a selection around the eye like this and and in effects and presets right color balance apply on it make the preserve luminosity on and uh, increase the red value something uh, something like this give some feather also 5 will do and uh, Uh, just like before uh, pick whip to the null and and hence you will see how this red eye effects goes with the movement of the footage it's a bit odd uh, at this point uh, so just like before you need to animate uh, the mask points and adjust it a little bit whatever um, whatever automatic method you choose but you have to do it manually someplace or the other it does uh, require manual corrections so uh, now it's uh, looking pretty good so since the cheek part has been made cleaned so you can uh, uh, so you can put some uh, wound cut there or whatever you want to show uh, I have a wound image taken from internet um, I can make a selection around the wound give some feather and uh, just like before uh, equip to the null one in this way uh, you will find that the wound is applied on the cheek you can make it uh, more believable by applying some more effects but I'm not gonna cover it in this tutorial so give it a try guys and uh, do it yourself so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial very much once you know the idea, you play with the options and uh, you will get desired results. I would recommend you to play always with the options and uh, tools. Thanks for watching the tutorial guys. Have a very nice day ahead. Thank you.